Hello, this is Neil in Studio A, and I want to demystify the patch bay a little bit and just do, again, some more signal flow talking about Pro Tools and the analog machine. Just for signal flow's sake, I'm here in the patch bay, and I plugged uh, an XLR into channel 1, and I now am in here going 1 from the control room to, and I'm using channel 8 on the audience mic uh, input. Let's look at what we got here. I'm going to be coming in channel 8. I'm going to be using the internal buses, so I'm going to keep it on channel 8. I'm going to show you a couple things about that. I'm going to be using the short fader as the send. So the mic pre is what I'll use to for my gain configuration. Um, and then the short will be at unity gain. I'll be using my long throw, though, for monitoring. Now this is for Pro Tools monitoring. And then if I want to create a headphone mix couple things here I want to make sure I use uh, pre-fader and that I want to, don't want to hit the SF buttons I don't want to put it post uh, from the short fader which is pre-tape machine I want to make sure it's not up so that's getting access from the long fader and then I'm using the um, fullback A and B to create my stereo headphone mix. Patch bay you'll notice that the top row uh, it says tape sends that's one through eight 9 through 16, 17 through 24. And there is, if you can look real closely, it says Rec A and Rec B. Now, if you use the internal audience mic pre's, which are pretty solid mic pre's, you get both of those without having to do any patching. And why would you do that? Well, here's the benefit. On Pro Tools, check, 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 there is my channel 8. So the input... You can see, read that. It's set to 8. The output is set to 8. So I'm using channel A on the mic line. I'm using the mic pre-gain. Check, check. To check, check. And I can reverse the meter if I want and make the long meter my input meter. There's So I'm hitting, getting negative 12. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Now you can see I'm clipping by turning the mic pre all the way up. So, check, 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 1 o'clock, got some nice gain. I can reverse the meter. So, short fader. Then what happens on the busing here, so I've selected bus 8. The shift but button is not pushed, which would send it to 13 through 24. The pan knob is not pushed because I don't need, I'm not doing anything stereo, so I don't need the pan knob. And I'm not getting the send from the long fader, which is that, I'm getting the send from the short fader, so that's not pushed. So all I have to do is put bus 8, make sure nothing else is pushed. And I have signal in Pro Tools, check, 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 check. And I have signal on the analog machine, check, check, check. So by doing that, I, busing to 8, because of the patch bay, there are two outputs for every channel. And I have a Rec A and a Rec B, and both of those are now recording. Now, how I monitor off the analog machine is a different video, so you want to watch that video. And then I've got channel 8, so how am I monitoring? Monitoring on the long fader. Put the mix down on the long fader. Check, 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 check. And now, check, 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 check. You can hear through the speakers. I'm monitoring post-multitrack on the long fader.